Hey, good morning. How's it going, everybody? It is happy Saturday. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. Um, it is starting to get warm out here, as you saw from the last video. Actually, that was shot two weeks ago. And last week, we didn't do a long ride. We just did a short one indoors on Zwift because it was raining and it was cold. So we're back to the high temps today, about upper 80s. Uh, probably close to 90 degrees with full sun beaming down on us. Um, so yeah, we're heading out to do a four and a half hour ride or so. Uh, the duration of the rides are ticking up there. And uh, yeah, we're excited to do this. And I am dressed properly uh, today now because actually last week or two weeks ago when we did that ride, um, I don't know if you guys can recall, but Jason, for my birthday, got me a New Jersey, and it said lightweight, and he thought maybe lightweight meant summer weight, but it's actually a more aero jersey, and as you guys know, aero jerseys are not, are not summer weight. Uh, they don't have, they hardly have any uh, wicking capabilities, uh, and so it was hot, so I got this jersey on right now. It is by Zion Cycles and I wore this jersey when we rode around uh, Zion National Park. So this is a nice summer weight jersey compared to what I was wearing yesterday. Okay, enough talking. Let's go for a ride. today uh, because tomorrow's Joy's birthday and we're going to celebrate that with her family um, so that'll be fun and hopefully today will be fun as well it's uh, gonna be between a four and a half and five hour ride today and it's gonna be another hot one we're going to uh, do a route similar to one of the ones I did solo, going up to uh, Fuller Mountain Road and then back with some slight variations along the way. So one of the things that I recently was considering is um, knowing the fact that we've been riding or I've been riding for over two years now and I've been you know enjoying myself uh, while doing this and uh, clearly I do enjoy myself otherwise I wouldn't be I wouldn't be doing this still but um, my job is a little over two miles away from our house and I thought duh why don't I consider riding it and so the, I've had this consideration in the back of my head a couple times before. However, I didn't really take it seriously because here in Connecticut, we get the four seasons and the winters can be rough with the icy roads and you know, it can get pretty rainy. And also where we live, uh, it's pretty hilly. So, um, you know, I actually just for some odd reason, one day, a couple of days ago, I decided that I am going to go and go for it next school year. Um, I'm going to attempt to ride it next week, although I think there's one or two days that I wouldn't be able to. One, because I have an appointment right after work and then the second one we have meetings until later on and it does get pretty the roads do get pretty busy around four o'clock so uh, i'm going to try to um, stay away from the roads during that time so uh yeah i'm going to try to ride next week and see how that goes and if it all goes well 
um, I might consider it for next year. I would consider something like that myself, but um, I work further away from home and actually for the last more than a year I've been working 100% from home, so um, obviously no need for me to commute by bike. Uh, anyway, it's a, uh, it's a good ride so far. Uh, it's, it is uh, warming up and will probably continue to get hotter, but we did uh, manage to catch some breeze on some downhills and uh, having fun so far. We actually stopped at American Pie Company uh, earlier just to get water and I realized I forgot. I usually, well, I've been trying to bring the electrolyte mix in a Ziploc bag and I separate them by however many bottles I want to drink. And so I was supposed to bring two electrolyte powders with me. However, I forgot it at home. And so that's a bummer. And uh, so I think what we're going to end up doing is going to the convenience store later on and just grab Gatorade. Um, luckily, Jason was able to lend me his Maplelade and uh, if, he doesn't have enough, I'll just give him the rest, whatever I don't drink. Yeah, I was saying earlier that I wanted to uh, commute to work and just because I'm doing, I'm still doing training and the commute will probably take about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, I don't want to tire my legs out too much. So what I was considering getting is an e-bike for those hills. So hopefully um, I can get to work, not as sweaty, and hopefully I can figure out the logistics behind just freshening up before, uh, before the day actually starts. So I've been researching a little bit about how to commute by bike and what to do, what to bring, and how to prepare yourself or freshen yourself up uh, when you get to work. have a, a breeze that hits us once in a while and you know sometimes we have shade also so the the heat hasn't gotten to us yet we'll see uh, we have Fuller Mountain Road coming up in a bit which will probably get us a little bit hot but then we have a, a nice descent down Skiff Mountain Road after Fuller I'm doing 306 right now. We just finished the uh, Fuller Mountain Road climb, and uh, yeah, that's a tough one, especially the full. There's, there's two segments for it. There's one for the steep part in the beginning, and then, because there's a steep part in the beginning, then it goes actually downhill uh, for a little bit, and then it gets steep again. I think the longer segment is a category three, and the shorter one is a category four. And um, so yeah, it's just one of those uh, that, the category three one is just one of those that feels like it's never gonna end. It's warm out here. It's not as humid as a couple of weeks ago. Um, I still feel pretty good despite the fact that I did forget my electrolyte drinks. Uh, at the house, so I'm having Jason get uh, a Gatorade and a bottle of water just to hold me over until we get home. We have about 
20 or so miles left to, to go and still feeling pretty good. We've been taking turns going the front. Mainly Jason is the quote unquote workhorse today. So I've been trailing behind him and just practicing that ability to just draft behind one another. It does save energy uh, in longer distances. So um, that's what we're doing right now. And oh yeah, by the way, I did PR Fuller Mountain. Uh, my first time riding up that road was a couple of years ago in a much heavier bike so um, and I, I definitely was not in better shape than i am now uh, so my time initially was 10 minutes and 43 seconds and my time today was eight minutes and 36 seconds i believe so about uh two minutes a little over two minutes uh pr the climb and after that um, i'm still getting numbness in my uh in my toes uh, so after that climb, we came down it because I wanted to cool off since I was uh, pretty, I was pretty wrecked after that climb. And I asked Jason, let's just go down and I, that way I could cool off and then go to the bottom. And I was so ready to unclip and un undo my shoes, take off my shoes and massage my feet. Once I did, once I did that, um, I do feel better now. Uh, maybe I just needed to stretch my, my feet and kind of massage it a little bit. So hopefully, um, you know, that's not an indication of anything. I'll continue to be in contact with the bike fitter just to make sure that everything is okay and that my cleats are, are uh, the correct position um, or if there's something else that we could do better. Oh, before I forget, I also wanted to talk about the e-bike that I might be getting for commuting. Uh, possibly getting one that has Gates Carbon Drive, if you guys are, um, or sorry, not Gates, the Gates Carbon Belt. Um, if you guys are familiar or if you're not familiar with the Gates Carbon Belt, I guess it's what they have in cars and motorcycles and it's very long lasting and they say it can last up to uh, three times longer than a chain. And, uh, and you don't have to do, it's practically zero maintenance. Oh, no. So I might be getting an e-bike with a Gates carbon belt from Priority Bicycles. Not sure yet. Um, there's still a lot of considerations. There's still stuff I need to, to, to think about. Um, first, before we, you know, I spend that kind of money because we do have a couple of bikes already. I definitely have, uh, you know, three bikes already in the garage. So I got to make sure that I don't go too crazy with bikes. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's ride. Hopefully, um, I know it wasn't a whole lot today. I uh, just wanted to, um, no drone, but um, I'll be taking that out tomorrow uh, on, uh, we're going to be checking out a house by the lake that my sister is house sitting. So she's having us go there we're gonna do a get together um, and the family knows that she's having people over so it'll be nice and uh, we'll be taking you guys with us it's the next day now and we're heading over to Lake Little Nona and get some Sun enjoy the day by the lake maybe go kayaking paddle boarding so yeah we'll We'll be there having a picnic. Don't crash into your car. How you doing? Relaxing. Staying off the legs today. Yeah, just out here. I'm on the kayak now. I was. I started the 
the paddleboard, um, but the waves were too much with the boats coming by and I was starting to lose my balance and I figured I switched to kayaking. Amazing place that we're, uh, that we're at right now. Um, yeah, my sister is house sitting this place and they have it open and they invited us and it's been fun so far being out here just relaxing and uh, getting some sun.